Um, well, you know, we'd have liked to have gotten two wins. Uh, went into McNeese and really started off slow first game. Uh, you know, the very first game we were down 11-2 uh, before we really got started. And um, you know, I think that really hampered us. And uh, they were able to squeak out a win. It was really close, even from being down 2-11. Uh, uh, and so we got a slow start. Uh, got a slow start in the match and just weren't able to make up the difference uh, each game. Uh, like I said, it was close. Um, felt like we were competitive in the latter part of the match, but just didn't get a quick enough start. Did just the opposite against Nichols, came out, got a great start. Um, uh, really the first half of the first match, we really thought did a great job blocking. Our middles were fantastic. Our defense really stepped up and, uh, you know, protected some areas where we've had some injuries. And, um, you know, at the, at the outside hitter position, it's been, you know, kind of like musical chairs out there um, as far as who's been able to play. So, uh, you know, we haven't had the consistency in that position that we really like just because of uh, the injuries. And uh, But the middles did a great job, and our defense did a great job, and we were able to pull out a win. So I'm very happy about that, winning in 3-0, and um, look forward to bringing that momentum back against Houston Baptist on Thursday. Yeah, our out, I mean, our outside hitters didn't perform uh, uh, well against Nichols. Um, they worked great, and um, we need to be better at that position. Of course, we, we do have you know multiple injuries um, and multiple people who were playing that position who are now out and they're on the sidelines. There's nothing we can do about that. But uh, the rest of the team that we do have out there, we need to uh, we need to be a little bit more effective. Um, like I said, our middle blockers are, are still doing a great job, both blocking and putting up some good offensive numbers. We need to continue to do that um, to be effective against Houston Baptist. Our back row needs to continue to uh, deny the other team offensive opportunities. We did that against Nichols. Uh, I think Nichols hit less than 100 as a team, and our floor defense and our blocking um, is a testament to that. So we need to play tough defense. Our middles are going to continue to lead the offense, but our outside hitters need to be more, a little bit more effective. Uh, well, we, you know, we're playing it one game at a time, and, and we want to, um, you know, we want to get as many wins as we can. You know, we're looking to get in the tournament. And, you know, we reckon, I reckon we need about eight wins or so to do that. And so we're looking to get as many wins every opportunity we have. You know, I think the, the contest between us and Houston Baptist will be close. They're 0 and 1. We're 0 and 2. Or we're um, 1 and 2 now, and they're 0 and 1. The last I saw. So, um, you know, they've been struggling. They've had a few injuries as well that are reported, and so it'll be a battle of the beaten up teams. Maybe you get a chance to come in, and we have the home court advantage. So, you know, I, I, I think that we have the advantage coming into that match if we can continue with the momentum that we built against Nichols. Um, Corpus is playing real well. Um, they haven't lost yet in conference play, and they just seem to be playing really, really good volleyball right now. So it'll be a tougher contest on Saturday. But um, looking forward to it. If we, can, if we can win on Thursday, then that will give us even more momentum. I, I think it will give us more confidence out there. And then I think we can really compete strong against uh, Corpus on Saturday.